today I, I'm going to talk about some uh, different uh, concepts that you can use for improvising uh, over a dominant seventh chord. So I'll start off today with a D seventh chord uh, using the iReal Pro app. So the, the first concept is using the major pentatonic based on the root of the chord. So I'm, I'm playing over a D seventh chord. So th the notes of D major pentatonic, D, E, F sharp, A, B. And then I also use the D major pentatonic here, D, E, F sharp, A, B. Okay, so then you take that major pentatonic and then you can add in two extra notes. You can add in the flat at third. Right, and there's a lot of different licks that you can do with that. So that's the F, F sharp, flat at third. And then you can also add in the flat at seventh, which is the C note. So you can do slides, bends, you know, bends here, or uh, slides, or hammers. Okay, and then the same thing happens here. D, E, there's the flat of third, third. And then here is the C note here. All right, so... This is a, a concept that I talk about in a lot of my videos, the idea of uh, dividing this, this, the guitar up into two string groupings. So that way you, learn, you can learn one lick and then it's, it's applicable for two or three different places in the fretboard. So I'll just maybe do a couple licks here. So here's where you're uh, holding this note here, the A. And then you're uh, hammering there. And then also just simple bend here. Half step bend. And then you have to just take these concepts that I'm talking about, and then you just have to apply them uh, to your own playing. I'll, I'll just go uh, a couple times on that lick. do a similar thing here so so here's the concept okay now here you can take this same lick and maybe just uh, adjust it a little bit okay, see, see how I'm doing essentially the same thing I'm just doing a slide here rather than a hammer and then here I can do a bend here or I can just do a slide I'll play it a couple of times uh, on on that uh, with, along with the jam track. So you get the idea there. So major pentat. So the uh, the concept major pentatonic, adding in the flat at third and the flat at seventh. Okay. So then I'll do the uh, D major pentatonic, but I'll I'll use this inversion up here. So you have A A B D E F sharp. Now I'll also take that pattern, move it across two strings, A, B, D, E, F sharp. Okay, so go back to here. So, uh, all right, so there's your flat at seventh there, the, the C note. Over that D7 chord. And then also here's your flat at third here. Okay, so a really common lick. Is to play that flat at third and then just bend bend up to the to, to this note here, 
Uh, many years ago, I had a uh, appreciation of jazz a course um, uh, at Penn State, and, and and the guy who was teaching the class, he says the blues note, it's not the flat of third, it's not the major third, it's the note right in the middle. So somewhere in the middle there is, is the blues note, and then I'll say have this that note there. So I'll, I'll do a, a couple times with with that with those uh, concepts. Some, something with this uh, pattern in here. Okay, and then it's, it's your, your slide there. And adding in the, the flat at third there also. And then you could also tie in. All right, that's another. So maybe I'll tie in the next, so the next pattern there. So I have my flat third third, and then I can go up to there. And then I guess for today, I'm not going to bother with the lower notes, but this, all, this pattern will also uh, translate down to here. A, B, D, E, F sharp, A, B. So, so once again, I'm emphasizing the beauty of this approach of uh, putting everything in, in, in two string groupings. Okay, I'll, I'll play a couple licks on the inside strings here. what I did there. So I started off in the middle strings and then I also did some call and response. So it's almost like you can pretend like you're, you know, two different guitar players or two different instruments uh, go back and forth between those um, different scale patterns. <laughs> 